Hi, and welcome to my vlog interview series. It's called The Athlete in You, and I'm gonna bring you a fresh perspective on how everyday passionate athletes train, thrive, and survive, um, each with their own uh, unique stories. And when it, what's in it for you? I would say that I'm gonna bring you some real stories from friends, uh, from families, from neighbors, uh, and life advisors, just to give us that little bit of extra around the education and just kind of getting into the mindset uh, of an athlete. Uh, you'll definitely be able to relate to my stories and I'm hoping that I will reignite that passion uh, of an athlete that you are um, and or hopefully you get inspired to try something brand new um, or just to kind of get up and be active again. Um, and I really can't wait to get my story started so you can hear all about them. I'll be publishing them at a minimum on a uh, bi-weekly basis. Uh, I already have my next one scheduled for next week, so definitely look out for that one. Uh, follow, subscribe, and you'll get to see it as soon as it drops. Um, but I'm really here today to talk about my story and um, yeah, a bit about me so you could get to know me a little bit better. Uh, so I'm a everyday working professional. Uh, I'm a mom. Um, I'm a middle-aged woman with a love uh, and passion in fitness. Um, I'm healthy. I'm definitely adventurous. I have an adventurous side of myself. And I'm always pushing the envelope and always looking for that a little bit more. I'm not too sure if you can relate, uh, but I'm definitely that person that's always looking to better and uh, just to kind of um, be a bit more. Uh, I've always tried to uh, be fit, uh, but I definitely had my struggles through life uh, with injuries, uh, the usual stuff um, that people battle back and forth day to day, year to year. I had a child and it took me a, bit, it took me a good year uh, to get through that. And uh, I finished the year strong with a triathlon and I felt very, very good, uh, very healthy. And then again, my adventure side kind of kicks in and um, decided to uh, go uh, snowmobiling, uh, which I haven't done in a while. And I uh, got into a really major accident. Um, took me two years of rehab to actually get through to that one uh, and to gain full range of my dominant side. So. Huge, that was a pretty big accident. Um, but from that, I found uh, TRX, which uh, rebuilt my strength in that feel good again. Um, and it kind of moved me back into the other activities that I love so much, uh, such as running and swimming, uh, rollerblading, uh, roller skating, um, and just being able to kind of spin right? And just kind of uh, be active. And uh, with that, i um, happy to share that I finished a Iron Girl Canada Triathlon this summer. Um, I was so excited and happy that I was able to complete and I competed, uh, which is even better for me. Uh, and um, I have good results. So I placed 107 out of 907 ladies. It was a ladies only triathlon. Um, and not just that, I placed 27 out of 190 ladies in our category, and that category is between the age of 40 and 44. Uh, so we're very happy about my results. Uh, but what I was mostly impressed by was the strong representation of middle-aged women, uh, which was very exciting to me, uh, seeing, seeing all the bikes kind of lined up uh, while I was getting set up, set up for my triathlon. Um, but most impressed was the top 10 uh, we're all women over 40. So to me, such a motivation, such an inspiration uh, to continue and uh, try again. And I'm definitely gonna sign up next year and I'm lining up to do a full-on uh, Olympic-sized triathlon, uh, which is super exciting. In fact, uh, I recently read an article. Uh, this one is um, about why women of 40 and 50 are the new ageless generation. Um, this one is by Lee Hardy uh, from The Telegraph. Uh, I have a link in the show notes below, so definitely have a quick look. Um, and I'm not sure about you, uh, but I kind of feel that way too, uh, around that ageless. Uh, don't know where I fit, either younger or perhaps older, depends on that day or uh, what I train about. Uh, but this one was about a survey conducted, uh, highlights uh, showed some incredible statistics. Um, one around uh, how 40 plus women really don't feel their age at all. Again, me, 
definitely an enemy and how um, they feel that society's assumption about middle-aged women do not represent how they live their lives um, and how most consider themselves at their prime life feeling the most vibrant um, and young as they ever have and that's probably due to a focus on health and fitness and wellness right so the, there's a good tie-in between the two but again a good read uh, i can't share all the statistics but definitely have a good look uh, there's numbers tied to this too check it out um, and now you know what to expect next uh, so i have episode two uh, coming up um, this one will be about a bell story he's a father he's a friend he's an athlete and he's definitely not afraid to um, take on a, an adventure and we're gonna have an honest chat um, about his couch to iron man story incredible story um, other episodes includes Abel's uh, Iron Man trainer so we'll have his perspective and then I also have uh, many other uh, personal individual passionate athlete stories uh, that will be available to you so again super excited um, and I can't wait to publish all my stories soon so that you can have a look at it do like do follow me uh, get inspired uh, get motivated and uh, don't be afraid to leave me a comment I would love to hear from you I'd like to get to know you perhaps share me your story or two um, I would love if we could collaborate maybe do a series maybe do an, an interview um, but I just want to leave you with that so again looking for your comments and uh, talk soon <laughs>